If we need to create a lot of users in Active Directory that are going to have similar attributes, then we can create what's called a template user. I'm going to take, for instance, the accounting finance organizational unit, and let's say that we're going to be adding some new people, and I don't want to have to go through all the extra steps of adding them to the different groups and changing all the different attributes. So what I can do is I can create a new user, so I'll right-click and choose New User inside Active Directory Users and Computers. And from here I'm going to call this Template. And I'm going to use the username of template as well. And I'll click Next. Now I'll put in my password. The password itself is not going to be saved and used again for the next user. It's just going to be saved for that specific user I'm creating. Now we have some options, such as do we want to force the user to change the password the first time they log in? Or do we want to say that the user cannot change the password? And that kind of option is a really good idea for service accounts. Service accounts don't belong to specific users, but they belong to accounts that we're going to assign to services that run in Windows Server in the background. Then we have the option for password never expires. And this is a good idea if you're going to want to use a user that there's no reason for that password to ever expire, such as a printer. A lot of times we'll use printers for sharing various different scans of things and faxes and emails, and we want them to all go to a folder that's going to be on the server that the user that we're going to create is going to be using. And we don't want that user to expire. The other option is to disable the account, and sometimes you do that if you're going to be hiring someone and they just haven't started yet. So I'll choose the password never expires just for this particular example and click Next, and then click Finish. And now we have our template user. Now I'm going to double click on template. I'm going to choose Member Of, and I'm going to add this user to some groups. So I'll click on Advanced and click Find Now. Now, if you know the names of the groups you want to add, you can just type them in one at a time. This way, I find it's just a little bit faster. So I'm going to choose, for instance, the accounting groups, such as accounting AP, AR, finance, that kind of thing. So I can choose all three of those at once, click OK, click OK again, and now the next user that I create, I don't have to go through all that. If I need to make any other changes to any other tabs, I can do that as well, and they will show up with the next copied user. So I'll click OK. Now I'm going to right-click on that template, and I'm going to choose the Copy option. Now I'm going to type in the new user's name. I'll say this is Jen Singer, and the username is going to be Jen S, and click Next. Now we can see I will have to type in the password. But you can see the password never expires has gone ahead and stayed selected as well as the account is disabled. And that's because Jen hasn't started the new job yet. Click Next. And I'll click Finish. And there's Jen's account. So I'll double click on Jen's account. If I go to Member Of, we can see that Jen is automatically a member of those groups that I added in to the template user. You can create as many different templates as you like. The generally accepted practice would be to create a different template for each different organizational unit, such as the accounting, then we have the executive committee, and then we have HR, we have information technology, etc. Creating a template user can definitely be a time saver in your Microsoft Active Directory.